Hello, friends. Welcome to our channel, History Chronicles. As the French Revolution raged through the streets of Paris, altering the very fabric of society, there was another revolution quietly unfolding, one driven by the women of France. Today, we turn our attention to the often overlooked but deeply influential role that women played in the French Revolution. From leading marches to shaping political discourse, the women of France were not mere bystanders. They were active participants and, in many cases, catalysts of change. The revolution was a time of immense upheaval, and with it came opportunities for voices that had long been silenced to finally be heard. Women, who had traditionally been confined to the domestic sphere, began to step into the public arena with a force that surprised many of their male counterparts. Their participation was not limited to the sidelines. They were at the forefront of key events, demanding rights and shaping the future of France. One of the most iconic moments of female activism during the revolution was the Women's March on Versailles, which took place on October 5, 1789. Frustrated by the scarcity of bread and the economic hardships facing their families, thousands of women from Paris marched to the Palace of Versailles, the seat of royal power. Their demands were clear. They wanted food, but more importantly, they wanted the king to acknowledge their plight and take action. The march was a powerful display of solidarity and determination. Armed with whatever weapons they could find, knives, pikes, even rolling pins, the women confronted the king and his ministers with an intensity that left no room for complacency. The outcome of the march was significant. The king was forced to leave Versailles and move to the Tuileries Palace in Paris, closer to the people and under their watchful eye. This event marked a turning point, showing that the women of France could no longer be ignored. But the Women's March on Versailles was just one chapter in a much larger story. Women were active in all aspects of the revolution, from the radical clubs to the battlefield. They formed their own political organizations, such as the Society of Revolutionary Republican Women, which advocated for greater rights and participation in the new republic. These women were often at the forefront of debates about citizenship, equality, and the role of women in the new society that was emerging. The revolution also saw the rise of influential female figures who used their voices and their writings to challenge the status quo. One such figure was Olympe de Gouges, a playwright and political activist who is best known for her work, The Declaration of the Rights of Woman and the Female Citizen. Published in 1791, this document was a bold response to the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, which had largely excluded women from the rights it proclaimed. In her declaration, Olympe de Gouges argued that women should have the same rights as men, including the right to vote, to participate in politics, and to hold public office. Olympe de Gouges' advocacy for women's rights was revolutionary in its own right. She challenged the deeply ingrained patriarchal norms of the time and called for a society where women could enjoy the same freedoms and opportunities as men. Her ideas, however, were met with resistance. The revolutionary government, dominated by male leaders, was unwilling to extend full political rights to women. Olympe de Gouges was eventually arrested and executed during the Reign of Terror, a victim of the very revolution she had sought to influence. The experiences of women during the revolution were diverse and often contradictory. While some, like Olympe de Gouges, fought for gender equality, others focused on more immediate concerns, such as the rising cost of living, food shortages, and the survival of their families. These economic hardships were a driving force behind much of the activism of ordinary women. They led protests, rioted against price increases, and demanded that the government address their needs. Women were also involved in the revolutionary wars, both directly and indirectly. Some disguised themselves as men to fight on the front lines, while others supported the war effort by working as nurses, seamstresses, or suppliers of goods for the troops. Their contributions were vital to the survival of the revolution, even if they were not always recognized or celebrated. The revolution opened up new possibilities for women, but it also brought new challenges. The radical changes in society led to debates about the role of women, with some revolutionaries advocating for greater equality, while others sought to reinforce traditional gender roles. The establishment of the Republic did not automatically lead to greater rights for women. 
In fact, the revolutionary government often took steps to limit women's political participation. The exclusion of women from voting and holding public office remained a point of contention, highlighting the limits of the revolution's promises of liberty and equality. Despite these setbacks, the legacy of women's participation in the French Revolution is undeniable. Their actions, whether on the streets of Paris, in the halls of political clubs, or in the writings of revolutionary literature, challenged the established norms and laid the groundwork for future struggles for gender equality. The revolution may not have fully realized the goals of women like Olympe de Gouges, but it set in motion a dialogue about women's rights that would continue for generations. As we conclude this episode, it is important to recognize that the story of the French Revolution is not just the story of men and their political battles. It is also the story of women. Women who marched, who spoke out, who demanded change, and who, despite the odds, made their mark on history. In our next episode, we will explore the rise of the Girondins and their role in shaping the revolution. Thank you for joining us on History Chronicles. The story of the French Revolution is far from over, and there are still many dramatic moments to come. Stay with us as we continue to unravel this complex and compelling narrative. See you next time.